Hi, good morning, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today I have a question for you. It's an opportunity for contemplation, for reflection, to deepen into yourself a bit. I'd like to invite you to grab out your journal or perhaps a notebook so that you can use this as a tool, okay? What do I see? What do I see is the question. This is where we begin. This is where we dive in or maybe jump off, depending on how you look at it. What do I see? I came across a post on social media about focus, talking about how where you focus, where you put your attention, is what you manifest. Where focus goes, energy flows, is a common phrase used in the healing circles and such. And if you're listening to this, I'm sure you've heard that before. Where energy, energy goes, where focus is, right? Or focus creates and manifests. Often, we focus on the negative, what we don't want. This is natural. It's a human thing. Because our brains help us to survive. You've heard this before as well, too, especially if you've been trying to manage your stress. If you've learned anything about meditation or mindfulness, you know that your mind is very strong and it has this incredible tendency toward alarm, toward constant hypervigilant focus. Your mind also has a tendency to be scanning the environment for any potential hazards or risks to you because your mind's job is to protect you and keep you safe. And now, where we are here now, in this unique, unprecedented time that we're living in, as I am recording this Sunday morning coffee episode, it is December, late, late December 2021. We have been through an incredible turbulent time of change where we have been stuck collectively in our homes, in our jobs, in our families, in our situations and circumstances to no fault of our own because of the external environment that has been challenging our health, our wellness, and shaking every single structure that we have come to know as our routine, our safety, our safe haven, the, the way that we are to act, are the things we can expect from life, and these structures have dramatically shifted. And everything is uncertain. The truth is, is everything has been uncertain before. But our mind has focused on keeping us safe by honoring the structures, by working within the confines and constraints of what we perceive through our mind's eyes as safe, steady, and ultimately comfortable. I have said for years in my journals, in my counseling sessions with my counselor and my coaches, that I want my children, my family, and for my friends and myself, I want to be comfortable. I want my kids to be comfortable. And comfortable means a lot of different things. It means not in danger, right? Like with the brain, not in danger, no threats, right? To our health, our safety, our wellness. Comfortable also means financial security and stability. Comfortable means that we have love given back to us, even if we are not loving outwardly, 
but we have love coming into us, like streaming in, like live streaming love, so that we are affirmed in our value, in our worthiness, in our identities. That's what that energy of comfort and being comfortable has represented. And now, here and now, we are on the edge, the, laz- the, the, the razor sharp edge of change. And if we slide one way, it's gonna cut us. And if we slide with it, it's gonna help us. Against it cuts a bloody mess. And with it, it makes everything smooth and beautiful. And it reveals our innate natural beauty. So now this question, what? Do I see? It is about focus, yes. It is about using the mind through a technique like journaling or mindfulness meditation or visualization. When you visualize, you use your brain. And your brain then begins to be included in what you are wanting consciously and with intention to create and manifest for your life. Then we can slowly, gently shift away from scanning the environment for danger and hazards. And we can open up to scanning the environment for opportunities. To be more creative and curious, to have experiences that open us and expand us, where we learn things that are interesting We're not afraid of change. We allow the evolution of our natural ability, our natural desire for connection to come through and not to be that desire of natural connection that we have. Everybody has it. Everybody wants to have connection. We we will then build this trust with our mind that allows us to have that connection without fear of change or fear of losing comfort. Because we can be comfortable in the unknown. That is a shock, isn't it? Now that's a unique concept, being comfortable in the unknown. That's a whole Sunday morning coffee episode itself. And right now we are talking about the focus and working with the mind and gently allowing the mind to become part of this positive attraction, the magnetic attraction of what we see through our hearts, leading with the energy of the imagery from our hearts, the emotion to support the life that we want the things, the elements, the attributes, the feeling of the idyllic life. We don't need the exact detailed description, depiction of the vision we have in our mind. If you envision a multi-million dollar beach house, you don't need the multi-million dollar beach house, but you do need to and will. You will, if you focus and allow this energy to attract into your life, you will attract and magnetize some of the attributes and characteristics of the feelings of that multi-million dollar beach house. So for me, for Bridget here, as I am sitting in my cushy chair in the wee hours of this Sunday morning recording this for you, I am envisioning that energy of that beach house vibe, for example, I love the idea of being by in in a warm environment. We're gonna use our senses, okay? So what do I see? We're gonna start with using our senses because that's really fun. And that's a way that the mind can let the body and the heart work together and become part of this expression of you. 
Because the expression of your life isn't just your mind, it's your mind, heart, body, and soul. And your mind and your body are the human attributes, characteristics, and trait holders, the gatekeepers of the actual physical expression. The heart is awesome because it's got this bridge between the soul and the body and the mind. And I mean, it can really negotiate. It can really work all of the energies and bring everything together. And so the heart with the sensory and senses, if you partner the heart with the body, oh my gosh, you have like limitless potential here. Do you see this? Amazing. The mind can deal with that. When the body and the heart are working together, the mind's cool with that. It can handle it. So when I think about that beach house, so okay, so here's my thing. I like warm weather. You know it. If you followed me on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel and my vlogs and my posts there, you know, or my Bridget Inspired on Instagram or Facebook, you know, I love warm weather. And it's kind of strange, right, that then, well, but I live in Minnesota. But Minnesota is beautiful and it's got seasons. It's got all these gorgeous changes and perks and just it's there's so much goodness here. And yet when it comes really cold winter, I long for the warmth, the humidity of like an, a climate like a Florida. OK, and so I go there a couple of times a year when I can and I play there with my intuition and my imagination and my creativity and my childlike sense of wonder and I hang out at Disney and you know that I don't even have to go into the parks I can just be there in the atmosphere and soak it up and I love it I just love it it brings me joy and so my vision when I say what do I see I see a warm climate I see a warm day and the idea of a beach is fabulous to me, not because I want to go swimming in the ocean, but because I want the sound and the sensory input of the auditory waves, the rhythmic pressure of the waves, let's say it that way, because there is the kind of this pressure that comes in, this rush that comes in with the waves. I love the sound of them. Now, the warm weather, the sun, the humidity, and the sound of the waves, I can literally see a shoreline. And I imagine it like in a Florida, because I've been there so many times. I haven't been on the beach so many times, but I've been in Florida so many times because I love the Disney vibe, that creative, imaginative, childlike wonder energy, magic, magic, adult magic. And I, so I picture Florida, that's just what I, I feel, right? So that's what I see, I see Florida, and I see this energy of this hot sun and this humidity, and I can literally feel it. If I give myself a moment to just close my eyes, I can feel it. I can feel the way my skin feels and how happy my skin is and how instantly my body lights up and lifts up because of that golden sun. And if I listen to the rhythm of my own heartbeat in my body, I can feel the rhythm of the waves in my heartbeat. I can feel the energy of the sensory input of the rhythm of the waves coming into me. And I can imagine the sound of it and the colors and the light blues and the healing, cool energy contrast with the hot, humid energy it's perfection to me it feels so peaceful and yet alive like I feel vibrant in this energy and all it takes is for me to ask for what do I see this is what I see I see this I see this and so in my life here today now during the solstice time in December 2021 I actually went to the north shore of Lake Superior and I spent some time in Duluth, Minnesota. Beautiful port, just so you know if you ever come to Minnesota, go north shore. It's gorgeous. Beautiful parks, gorgeous landscape, the waterfalls and are gorgeous at Gooseberry Falls and I mean it's just beautiful northern Minnesota. So the pine trees, the birch trees, the oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Lake Superior 
I was staying right on the edge of Lake Superior there, of course, and I had a view of Lake Superior. And you open the door, and I was there in the winter, so it was like chilly, but it was so peaceful and beautiful. However, I've been there in the summer at the same place, the same hotel. You open the door and on the, and to the balcony, and you can hear the waves coming up against the rocks, because it's a big rocky shore, huge big rocks there. And you can hear the waves. I have had the opportunity and the privilege to stay on the ocean front before on both, um, let me see if I have I stayed on the, I've stayed on the West Coast in California. Um, I don't know if I've stayed on the ocean. I, oh yes, I have, yes, 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 I have. Yep, yep, I've been to a Silomar. Um, where Deepak Chopra has in the past hosted some of his his um, retreats and things. I haven't been to one of his, but I've been to Silomar, um, Oak Grove, I think it was. Um, and so right on the beach there, right on the ocean there. And you could hear the ocean. You leave the door open, you could hear it, you could smell it, that salty smell air, it's beautiful. And I've also stayed on the Gulf Coast, the, in, the inner side, the Gulf, um, the Gulf um, in Florida. And so I've stayed there as well. So I've had experience there too, where you open the door and just you can smell the salt and the, the air. You can smell the, I don't know if it's salty really there. It just smells like, it just, it just had, there's like kind of this heavierness, like a humidity there kind of, it just kind of lingers, I love that. So I've had those experiences. But when I'm in Duluth on the, the North Shore and it's hot and humid in August, and you open the door and it just brings in the breeze, the air just comes in. It feels very similar to that. And I can hear the waves crashing against the shore and that kind of rush and that pressure of excitement when there's that connection to the rocks from the water. And it feels good. It's, is it exactly the same? No but it is the vision of what I see and how I can connect with my senses to what I see and what I vision and what I know brings me alive. So for you today, I ask you the question, what do I see? Ask yourself this, what do I see? When you are looking at your life and you are focusing on things or you are noticing, let's, say, let's start with that. When you are noticing things, what are you noticing? What do I notice? And if you're you know, going right to the what could go wrong and what is bad and what isn't working in your life, that's normal. Don't feel like you have to judge yourself and say, oh, I'm negative. Oh, I'm looking at the negative. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Oh, I must be depressed. Okay, don't do that because you know what happens with that? You're just creating attracting, magnetizing that. Do you want to feel crappy? Okay, no? I'm going to assume you say no. Would you like to feel better? I'm going to assume you're saying yes. This is how. Acknowledge that the mind is scanning for potential problems and let it do that for a second and then say, okay, what do I want to focus on? Then you scan and you look for something simple that is calm or peaceful. Start with the calm or peaceful vibe. Something that is just mellow and chilling. It could be a bird out the window. It could be the clouds in the sky just chilling there, floating by. It could be the snow gently falling. Nature is great to get to practice focus. Nature is great to practice connection because it's, it doesn't have a stake in, it's not another human, it's not something you made, it's something that's just there and present that you can access and tap into at any time. So nature is easy to use this as an example, okay? And you focus on that, what is calm or peaceful, just chill and mellow. And then after you do that, then if you get to that place, you kind of raised your vibration just a little bit, and then you say, what do I see? And then you look for something beautiful, like a simple beauty. Like the way the snow kind of clumps onto the edges and clings to the edges of the evergreen trees when there's enough of moisture in the air and it kind of sticks. 
and it kind of weighs them down just a little bit, but then the sunlight comes out and it reflects through that. And some of the branches and the needles on those evergreens kind of shine through light and it's just like they're sugar coated. It looks like, it's so picturesque, it looks like a Christmas card. That is beauty, simple beauty, natural beauty. And the natural beauty or those beautiful things that you see and you focus on and you can pick up on can bring your vibration up to a place where then you can actually start to focus on what do I see for my life? What do I see for my future? What do I see in my mind's eye as my best life? As my beautiful life? Do not dumb it down for what you think you can get. Gently level up the energy vibration, training your mind away from just the negative and bringing in calm and peace and then beauty. Calm and peace and then beauty. And then you can ask yourself and entertain the idea of what is possible for me. Not the, not the pressured stress like, oh my gosh, now I have to figure out how to manifest this or maybe I should pick things that I can think I can actually accomplish. No, I'm not, you're not setting goals with me right now. You are just asking yourself, what do I see? And you start with the real environment and the real life. And then you level up after the calm and the peace and the beauty. Then you level into this imaginative, creative, visionary, dream board-like state so that you can capture and identify those elements of that vision of that dream board life in your current present life. Like I just did, I gave you an example of it. This is not about accomplishment and goals achieved. This is about living. It's about living the best you can and as beautiful as you can for you because you deserve that. And your mind, your brain actually does want you to be happy. I know that seems like a shock because you put so much pressure on yourself and you judge yourself a lot. I do too, I'm raising my hand. But your mind, she, he, they want you to be happy too. Just believe that and try this. What do I see? I see beauty in you. You who are listening to this right here and right now. You may not feel it. You may not look it. When you reflect back in the mirror, you may feel like, oh, I don't look like that. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not that. But you are beautiful. I know you are. That's what I see. I see your beauty. Your beauty is in your potential. It's in the energy vibration of your essence, of your heart, of the energy of God universe, consciousness within your spirit and your soul. You are beauty. You are absolutely beautiful. You're beautiful. You are. And your mind, as overprotective as it is, we just have to encourage your mind to understand its role. And it has your back. Well, it actually has your front, your sides, your ups. Your, it has everything. Like it's, it's got a little too much control. It's just a little overprotective. And we can soften the mind with what? Your beauty, and that's what I see. Your beauty. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I do. You are beautiful. You are beauty. Focus on that. Amplify that. Attract, magnetize that. And the vision for the life, the elements of the vision of the life that you desire and dream of the beautiful life. Well, this is Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you listening to my Sunday Morning Coffee podcast. I so enjoy this. It's just part of my work on Above Life channel on YouTube. You can also find me at Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube and at Bridget Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for being here, for being part of the journey and for letting me talk in your ear to share, to grow together. 
I hope that I've inspired your spirit, filled you with hope, and encouraged you to live your life. This is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it.